Hello everyone, Professor Christensen here. Today we're going to look at calculating break-even point for a company with a single product. Um, this video is going to take a look at break um, at contribution margin and then we're going to look in the next video at how to use contribution margin in order to calculate the break-even point. So calculating break-even um, we're going to see involves finding out how much a company has to sell in order to have exactly zero profit. Okay. All right. So what does it mean to break even? So three important things, total revenues are equal to total expenses. Okay. And we're going to look at that when we see our um, contribution margin income statement. Profit is equal to zero and then total contribution margin is equal to total fixed cost. So there's only one sales volume at which these relationships are true. All right. So three things, total revenues equal total expenses, profit is zero and total contribution margin equals total fixed costs. All right. So now contribution margin, there's a star on this slide because it's very, very important. We're going to be using contribution margin here and in many, many other different um, places throughout the course. So three ways we can calculate contribution margin or state it. First of all, you can have total contribution margin. Total contribution margin is equal to your total sales minus your total variable costs. Okay. And then what that contribution margin gives you is how much money do we have left to cover our fixed costs and our profits. That's really what contribution margin is. How much money do we have left after our variable costs to cover our fixed costs and provide a profit for the company? Okay. All right. So let's go on to the calculation. So contribution margin per unit is equal to the selling price per unit minus the variable cost per unit. So selling price for one unit of product minus the variable cost for one unit of product. And finally, sometimes we're going to be using a contribution margin ratio or a percentage, and that's equal to the percentage that your contribution margin is to your sales or your selling price. So if you're looking at a per unit um, calculation, it's contribution margin per unit divided by selling price per unit. Or if you're going to do it in total, it's total contribution margin divided by total sales. All right. So let's take a look at how this applies using a simple contribution margin calculation. Let me make that a little bigger so we could see it better. Okay. So here we have a jeans maker designing a new line of jeans called Slims. The jeans will sell for $205 per pair and cost $164 per pair in variable costs to make. All right. So first they want the contribution margin per pair. So per pair is the same as per unit, right? So how did we say we calculate contribution margin per unit? It's selling price per unit minus variable costs per unit. And that gives us contribution margin. I'm going to say CM per unit. Okay. So our selling price in this case is 205. Our variable costs are 164. So our contribution margin is equal to 205 minus 164 or $41. Okay. Now what is our contribution margin ratio? So our contribution margin ratio, remember, is we can do it either in total or by units, but in this case we don't have total, so we're going to use units. So it's equal to CM per unit divided by selling price per unit. So our CM per unit, remember, is the $41. Our selling price per unit is 205 and we're going to divide now. Our CM ratio is equal to 41 divided by 205 
we'll make that into a percentage because we like it to be a percentage. So that's going to be 20%. Okay, so our contribution margin ratio is 20%. All right, so the last thing we want to do here is describe what the contribution margin ratio reveals about this new genes line. So what does this tell us? What it tells us is for every pair of slims the company sells 20% of the selling price is available to cover fixed costs and provide a profit. Okay? All right. So I hope that helps you understand how you calculate the contribution margin. Um, if you need to go back and review this again, because we're going to be using contribution margin a lot in future exercises. Okay, hope to find that helpful and see you in the next video.